So, I believe a couple of days ago, uh, Call of Duty, uh, for Pride Month, released a Pride Month, uh, skin, or, a DLC or something like that. Now, here's the thing. Uh, they have to do it. If you guys don't know, uh, the Uvalde schools and, uh, whatever, mothers, gun control, whatever, the, like, a, a bunch of leftist people and Uvalde school is suing Daniel Defense, and they're also suing, uh, what's it called again, uh, Activision. They, they're suing, they're suing Call of Duty. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of these school shootings happens to be done by people who are part of, part of the pride group, right? So, it, I'm, I'm stating a fact here okay especially like the one uh what's it called again the, the manifesto that still hasn't even came, that, that haven't even came out yet so so they're like you know what we should do you know what we should do what we should do is cater to the pride side right cater to the pride side so here's a, this comes to us from kotaku of all places it says call of duty's trans bullets are the latest right wing conspiracy rage bait it's not a conspiracy if it's in your game i'm just saying it now if it's in your game it is not a conspiracy all right, Kota leave it up to Kotaku of all places running defense for Activision. And Activision has to do this. It's because Activision's like, hey, man, don't sue us for millions of dollars. We're going to go bankrupt. But the thing is that Microsoft has bought Activision and Blizzard. So they're a trillion dollar company. So basically, is Activision going to lay off a bunch of people when they eventually lose? But the thing is that they have to, they really, really have to pander to the trans LGBT pride sides because they don't want to get sued. Like, hey, we're on your side, right? We're on your side, man. So libs of TikTok and others are using Modern Warfare 3's Pride Month cam uh, camos to push transphobia. <sighs> okay, a possible Call of Duty bug is causing a... Wait, what do you mean a bug? What, what, it's not a bug. It, it looks like it's, it's a DLC. Uh, causing a new pride-themed cosmetic to paint the bullets in one version of the game's guns colored of the transgender flag. Yeah, so so imagine getting... Imagine playing Call of Duty and getting shot down and getting killed in Call of Duty by... By, tr by tranny bullets, man. Jesus Christ, man. Now, right-wing rage jockeys are seizing this to peddle transphobic conspiracy theories so idiotic they would be laughable, if not for the real-world threats underlining the outrage. Season 4 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone went live last week, in addition to the host of new content, including Gundam skins that turns players into walking anime mechs. The update also rolled out free Pride cosmetics on June 1st. Call of Duty is for everyone, and we are proud to celebrate Pride Month by offering seven different weapon camo variants, each representing the colors of the different LGBTQ flags Activision wrote on their website. Now, here's the thing. If you guys don't know, I worked at Activision before. I worked there, I worked there two times in my lifetime, and I worked on Guitar Hero Smash Hits, and I worked on Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And if you guys don't know, uh, um, back in the day, uh, I was doing as a as QA. So back in the day, um, 85 to 90% of the QA people were men, and there are a select few who are girls. And the one, some of the girls were extremely hot too, for some reason. But uh, but yeah, but that's back in the day. That's like 14 years ago. And the thing is that Call of Duty is is a type of game where it's like, hey, remember? Like, you know, military and stuff like that. And, uh, and you know, honoring the military, honoring, um, you know, like what happens and stuff like that in, in war. And we're going to make it into a video game. is a very male, heavy, dominated type of game. A lot of guys play it. About 95, 90% of, uh, of the basic players for Call of Duty are men. There are some women and stuff like that. Now, um, this Call of Duty is for everyone. But the thing is that it never, it never once had the indoctrination campaigns of having pride shit in the game, right? So, um, but the thing is that, um, like I said before, over and over again, the games, uh, industry, animation industry, every industry that you can think of has been infected with these fucking roaches that are called liberal fucks, right? These extreme left-leaning progressive liberal fucks. It's like, oh, we're trying to make inclus inclusivity for everything, inclusivity for everything. Now, here's the thing, though. 
The LGBTQ+, plus, the plus also stands for pedophilia. So here's the thing. The colors for uh, pedophiles that they're trying to get uh, added onto the LGBT pride flag, which basically changes every fucking day. Uh, the colors are very, very, very similar to that of the trans flag. So the fact that they are saying that Call of Duty is for everyone, it is. But the thing is that um, adding these in, especially, especially right now, the fact that Activision is getting sued, they have to do it. They have to do it, hopefully, that it subsides, you know, because Activision is in California. I believe Daniel Defense is not. I, I forgot where they're located. They they will cave. They will cave. Uh, Daniel Defense might might either settle or they might win, right? Because of uh, it being, uh, uh, what's it called, a military contract and yada, yada, yada. But Activision is a video game company located in Santa Monica, right? So the thing is, they will cave. They will cave to this. They will shell out millions and millions of dollars to hopefully say, hey, we're sorry. Please don't sue us. I, we don't want a lawsuit. We just want to settle. That's what they're going to end up doing. So uh, I think that's the reason why they're pushing this like really, really hard. Right. Um, the thing is, that I don't think we had this kind of pride theming last year, if I'm not mistaken. And I've never seen this before. But the thing is, like I said, Activision, uh, Blizzard, Microsoft, every game company that I can think of, even the one that that, 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 that I'm working for right now, they have all been infected with the, uh, with the LGBTQ people. Now, here's the thing, though. When I say infected, I'm just talking about them working there. But the thing is that when it when it's considered an infestation, is when they will spread propaganda. When they would when they would spread uh, what's it called again? Um, uh, bullshit that uh, that basically has nothing to do with video games, but but just by pushing the message, right? So here we go. One of those camels variants is a transgender flag. When the camel is applied, it paints the player's gun into a glittery version of the flag's colors. It also applies the flag's design into the texture of the ammunition cartridge. For one skin uh, on one popular uh, particular the the gun, the M4. Which is the the M41A, which are, which is I'm assuming the um, the, the military variant. Uh, see, Call of Duty leader Bob Network UK discovered this almost immediately and tweeted screenshots of it out as a joke. They cover bullets. <laughs> they cover the bullets on the some guns. He tweeted, "Trans bullets. They're all gonna hate this one, right?" So basically, here's the bullets right over here. Um, basically, I basically made made a joke saying that imagine. Imagine being killed in game by uh, by gay bullets, right? But this is not gay. This is basically it's basically trans bullets, right? And uh, I believe even Alex Zedra is like, yo, yo, do these bullets even fly straight? <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, so um, it's going to continue reading. Hours later, the shit post got picked up by Twitter account Insane Cope, which tries to dunk on liberals by reposting screenshots of things they tweet. Uh, from there, it quickly spread without any context to the usual gaming adjacent outreach accounts. Current free stellar blade petitioner Mark <laughs> oh, full circle, man. This is full circle, dude. Going back to free stellar blade, uh, Mark Kern uh, picked up the day after on June third. Former gamer rant, uh, gamer angst, uh, a game ranks. Uh, maybe that's how I say it. Uh, blogger Ian Miles Chong. Oh, that guy. Oof. Oh, uh, reshared it as well. All of them derided Activision for adding trans bullets to their game. That's where the account lives of TikTok run by Chaya uh, Raichik and infamous for pushing homophobic and transphobic conspiracy called it's not dude if you actually look at lips of tiktok they don't actually make up stuff they actually just post videos directly from tiktok onto x that's it so it's not a conspiracy theory nice try you know maybe next time right let's see um uh, Call of Duty is n now enabling kids to roleplay being literal trans terror. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, is Call of Duty made for kids? No. But it sure as hell gets played by a lot of kids. A lot of kids. But yeah, those bullets look like they will make you gay if, <laughs> if you get critically shot. <laughs> uh, how does IMC access have access to Elon Musk? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see, um, with the uptick of the actual trans violence we've been seeing, it's alarming to, that Call of Duty would introduce this. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys don't know, um, this person right over here was the actual shooter. And we're still waiting for the manifesto. I believe they they knew I was about this person already. And, uh, yeah, when where the fuck is the manifesto? Where the fuck is it? Just, just fucking release it already, right? Just release it, right? Call of Duty didn't introduce this, though. Unlike all of the grifters clout chasing off of screen grab, anyone who actually investigated the source of transgender flag bullets uh, would have quickly realized they're seemingly isolated to one particular skin of the particular game. Now, here's the thing, though. If you guys don't fucking know, the M41A is the most common gun that the players would use at the beginning. It's because it's, it's basically... It's, 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 it's your standard issued military rifle, right? It, 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 it's, it's, it's your standard issue, uh, you know, it has select fire, so it will be considered an assault rifle, not assault weapon, because assault weapons don't, does not make sense. But the thing is that this, everyone gets this gun for free. Everyone gets it for free. Like, it unlocks automatically. So that's the reason why it, it's like, it's not like it's hard to find, right? Which skins though? The M41A. Right, so let's see. Um, all right, let's see. Modern Warfare 3's M4 came with special Soul Harvester weapon blueprint, which included a skin specific attachment for the M4 and tracer rounds, which are colorful ammos that leaves traces of different visual effects like paint splatters and rose petals for those who spend $100 to purchase the vault edition of the game. Based on Kotaku's testing, it appears that the trans will only appear uh, when applying the trans, uh, transgender flag camo to that skin on a specific weapon blueprint. Oh, okay, so so basically, so 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 I so so my bad. If if I am incorrect and this is only a hundred dollar skin, this is this is no one's gonna buy this vault edition. Just saying, right? No, like there's a reason why Nick Merckx is not playing the game. There's a reason why Doctor Disrespect is not playing the game. It, it is what it is, right? Yeah, that gun is cause some serious aggro. Now here's the thing. What they should have done was put the put the Caltech Sub 2000 in the game, which is a PCC, and basically have it that. It's because if you go up to over here, this crazy ass ch chick that's not a guy that killed a bunch of people in that in that church, uh, you know, that, that basically got uh, her tranny fluid leaked on the ground by uh, by law enforcement and a bunch of other people. Uh, she's holding a uh, an, uh, sub 2000 right over here, right? That's basically a nine millimeter uh, pistol or caliber carbine. So um, it would have been it would have made more sense if you did that. It would have been it would have made more sense. It's unclear if this is a bug. At one point during the testing, the bullets in the cartridge were only pink and the tra uh, trans flag or extremely uh, idiosyn uh, uh, idiosyncratic reflection of how Call of Duty's complex shader. Uh, systems interacts across thousands of items and cosmetics. During testing, any other skin camo applied to the M4 Soul Harvester blueprint resulted in the bullets being cartridge changing color to match that skin. Kotaku could not replicate trans bullets with other weapons, including others that use tracer rounds similar to the M4 Soul Harvester. Activision declined to comment, referring Kotaku to the original Pride Month section to... Now here's the thing. Like I said, Activision can not, they cannot comment on this because they are being sued. They are beating. They are being sued by the Uvalde school, right? They are in a big trial because Daniel Defense is being sued and Activision is being sued. All right, so that's freaking crazy, man. Of course, the fact that the trans bullets narrative is bunk real uh, doesn't really matter. It hasn't stopped lives of TikTok and other accounts from peddling baseless or misleading stories in the past. The right, the right wing refrain. <laughs> about a, a scourge of violence per perpetuated by queer people blew up in 2022 ahead of the election florida passed its don't say gay ban so the fact that they have to put don't say gay um that's ex like that in quotes right because it's extremely disingenuous because it's nowhere in the bill it actually says don't say gay right and you get pieces of shit like um uh, fucking Ron Perlman comes out. Can't say gay. I can say gay wherever I want. Gay, gay, gay. Right? It's like he's he's so fucking cringe, man. But yeah, let's see. Um, the conservatives started c accusing gay, transgender, and liberal people that they didn't <laughs> that they didn't of being sexual predators. P liberal people didn't of being sexual. Oh, oh my god. I'm okay, I, I I I'm not stupid. I'm not retarded. Right? That's how. That's what it says. And conspiracies started circulating online claiming Uvalde, Texas, mass school shooter was actually transgender. 
Uh, the Uvaldi one wasn't tr I don't think it was transgender, but I believe they were part of the LGBTQ club. Uh, at least a lot of them are. A lot of them are. Right? They're either non-binary or, um, you know, trans or whatever like that, right? And there's a lot of copycat, like, shooters out there, which is insane. Uh, it's now become a mainstream conservative talking point to blame gun violence on trans rights activists. Now, here's the thing. Uh, leftists love guns. They just don't love guns in hands of people they don't believe uh, in the same ideology, right? For instance, the liberals and the leftists love guns. They love firearms. They just don't want Republicans or conservatives to have them. That's it. I see. Another thing accounts like libs of TikTok are seizing on the Call of Duty case is that the parents of the children killed in Uvalde mass shooting uh, recently sued Activision and other gaming companies over the way of some of their games uh, fetishizing particular real world guns. The lawsuit alleges a connection between the in-game promotion of real world weapons and real world acts of mass gun violence, calling Activision's games a training camp for mass shooters. A spokesperson for the company has called the Uvalde shooting horrendous and heartbreaking in every way, but si said scientific research shows no casual link between video games and, and uh, video game guns. Now here's the thing. If you guys don't know, the Uvalde shooters used a DDM4. Um, uh, uh, Daniel Defense uh, M4. And here's the thing. those The, the Daniel Defense guns are like $1,400. They're, they're pretty fucking expensive. Right? And um, the thing is, the uh, Activision used the DDM4 as the name in Call of Duty, which is sort of a big mistake on their end. So they should... Because usually they call it something else. They usually call it something else, like uh, Dick Defense M4000 or something like that, right? It, it's usually called something else. But what happened is that Uvalde School was like, Hey! Hey! Uh, Activision is making games! And, uh, you know, they make Call of Duty, so, it, it, you know, it causes a lot of mass violence, which is actually completely debunked already, so it has no actual correlation. But a lot of these, um crazy people and OG conservatives that think that video game is bad, they always have to tie it back to, um, what's it called again, uh, video games being bad. And, you know, um, but, you know, it's, it's like they, 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 they're trying to find a scapegoat. But the thing is that Daniel Defense is also in the video game. Like, the, 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 their, their M4 is in the video game and it's the gun that the shooter used. So that's, so that's the reason why. And that's the reason why that, that they're suing uh, Daniel Defense is because, um, the crazy thing is, uh, Activision uses Jeeps. I believe they're, um, I think some of their uh, Call of Duty games are sponsored by Jeep. You can actually get, you can actually drive a Jeep and run over people. So uh, let's say, God forbid, that a, per a crazy person during, uh, I don't know, Christmas drives down the fucking parade and kills a bunch of people, right? Kills a bunch of people. And then they're like, well, actually, we don't blame the car. We don't blame the driver. We blame the car. Do, do you, oh, actually, someone at that, that shit actually happened. Right? That's the shit that fuck, is fucking mind-blowing, right? That the fact that you are trying to sue the gun manufacturer for something a person did. It's like, it's sort of like, imagine if I went around and grabbed this bottle, grabbed this tumbler, and I fucking whack the shit out of people, right? Right, I whack the shit out of people and, and end up doing extreme harm to other people, right? Are they gonna sue this bottle maker or are they gonna put me in jail? If they, if the government would have it, they would do both. But the thing is, everyone uses these bottles. Everyone likes bottles. Everyone drives a car. Everyone has a car, right? It's just these leftists and these crazy Democrats don't like you to have guns. So, they're trying to do their best to bankrupt that shit, right? Here's the thing. There was a shooting, I forgot how long ago. Maybe, uh, maybe 2012, 2014, I forgot when. And they used, uh, I believe they used, uh, uh, I forgot what company they used. It's either Bushmaster or Remington or something like that. But what happened was that the school, or whatever happened, they sued that company, and that company lost. So what happened was that Remington 
went under, and it was and, and a bunch. I think Bushmaster or something like that went under or something. I forgot the the the, 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 the actual gun company's name. And what happened? Is they were absorbed. That it they they were sued to oblivion, so they had to file for bankruptcy. And that's why a lot of the Remingtons that are coming out right now, the eight seventies, are shit. Is because they're they're not the same, not not the same factory anymore. But the thing is that that worked, right? That company got sued and they lost. So what they're going to do is they're gonna uh, it's like oh since Remington went under, we can do the same shit to to Danny Defense. That's what they're trying to do, which is fucking insane, right? But according to this. Uh, I think that I, I think this shit is just fucking hilarious. I like for me, I'm ne I'm never gonna indulge myself to buy these pride stuff. Like when, whenever I I have it in a video game, I just remove it. Whenever I'm invited to like a uh, bingo drag night video, I fucking decline going. I, I don't need to fucking go to those shit, man. I don't fucking care if you want to do it, do it your, do it yourself, man. But the, the fact that you're like putting this shit out in public and stuff like that—that's when that, that's when I have issues with it. All right. Uh, this isn't the first time Call of Duty has become a flashpoint for moral panic about LGBTQ plus people. During 2023's Pride Month, Activision pulled a skin from the game based on Nick Merckx after the popular streamer uh, uh, tweeted that the LGBTQ rights activists need to leave children alone. That's all he said. That's all he said. Call of Duty streamer Timothy Tim the Tatman uh, defended... Uh, 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 Nick Merckx at the, uh, and the company ended up removing his in-game skin as well as, re as a request. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I saw a video earlier today that basically showed there was. I thought there were dudes, but when you actually look, there are women, and uh, they're basically uh, doing some kind of like meeting or a town hall or something like that, or, or doing they're doing some kind of um, some kind of. Uh, uh, you know, mentorship or something at, at a school. And they said that they... I'm paraphrasing here. They want to indoctrinate. They want to brainwash kids. They want to do that kind of stuff. Right? And I believe there's also other people that I saw on X and Twitter and basically saying... Um, your kids are going to know us, they will see us, they will respect us, and they will love us. Right? Which is fucking insane. Right? And that's the reason why I'm a big proponent of homeschooling your kids. Right? When you homeschool your kids, you don't see all of that crazy shit. Right? And here's the thing though. Oh, your kids are going to become weird. Your kids are going to be antisocial. Your kids are going to be insane. But the thing is that if the people that are in public and in the public eye are all fucking crazy people screaming at the clouds because Donald Trump won. Crazy ass people that are literally screaming and throwing paint on 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 fucking um and tomato sauce on like OG paintings, gluing their fucking hands on asphalt. Right? People fucking going into the woods and breaking breaking fucking like twigs and throwing leaves up in the air for four thousand dollar a session like i'm fine with my son being socially awkward is because that shit is fucking insane right if the cur your current day stuff that's going on that's happening right now is crazy shit i do not want my son to be a part of that i don't want i, I don't want it right uh, but the thing is that like who do you trust more to teach your your kids than you and that's why i'll be homeschooling but the thing is that this this article is is fucking ridiculous and of course it comes to us from kotaku so it is no shock it's absolutely no shock that um you know but hey you know more power to you if you want trans bullets go ahead and buy them a hundred dollars that's fucking insane though. hell no